sweetheart, I know. <laughs> yeah, at least I don't have to come home till midnight, right? Listen, I knew what I was getting into when I married him. I know what I gotta do to get out. You really think you'll just hand your divorce and a beat to the club? No, I think I'm going to have to work for it. But I'm gonna get both of them. So, how'd you like your candy, little girl? Good stuff? I just wonder where that came from. Maybe I'll slide you a little discount or something. As long as you do a favor for a favor. Look, you filthy animal. If I need your help, I will let you know. Otherwise, stay with me. account books for the club. Yeah, we're right, though. I know last month's figures were a little off, but with the cops crawling all over the place, I figured I should keep a low profile. I understand. Listen, I'm confident we'll make up for the loss this month, and I really don't want you to worry about it. I'm not worried, Jimmy Ray. Have a cigar. No, thanks. I brought in a couple of new girls to headline on the weekends. I know they're going to track an upscale clientele. Well, that's great, Jimmy Ray, but I didn't invite you here to talk about the club. Excuse me, what, what can I do for you? You can tell me about it later. Can you believe he never showed up? Who? <laughs> Alex. Oh. Well, maybe he forgot. Forgot? No. Nobody forgets to meet me. There has to be a better explanation than that. Are you going to talk to him about it? Elena, it's not my style. But I'm certainly not going to sit around here like damsel in distress. What do you mean? Let's just say I know what I have to do to get what I want. sent by the same guy as the last time. I can feel it. Uh, Don't go there, Harry. I mean, aren't you getting the feeling that Martin and Roberto have some serious history? Yeah, and it ain't good, Crystal. But why is our guy leading you off the Hamilton case? Well, maybe he knows something we don't know. And maybe he's fishing and he wants you to bait the hook. Well, I'll have to do some more legwork. And I have to get some copy on that dead stripper. That's top priority, Crystal. Gotcha. Maybe I'll just mosey on down to Liquid catch El Dragon in his lair. Maybe I'll get a can of worms and bait the hook. Did you see the Chanel fashion show last season? Très extraordinaire, n'est-ce pas? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Lucas, how you doing? Doing great, man. Good. Excited for the party next week? Mm-hmm. All right. Et plus tard, Monique. Au revoir. Nice. So, uh, where'd you pick up the French? Uh, here and there. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna touch that. And you? Yeah, party once or twice in that French Riviera, you know. Nice. Hey, I left a message on your cell phone last night. Thought maybe we could hook up. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm sorry. No problem. Just thought maybe you could give me the short list insider's tour of the Sobe club scene. And I will definitely do that. Last night just wasn't a good night, you know? Uh huh, gotcha. And I'm not gonna touch that. So, on second thought, what did you do last night? You know how much the support of the Junior League means to me, Mike? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at the fundraiser next week. You got it. My best to Marge and the girls. Right. <sighs> Looks like we got the Junior League in our corner. Yeah. Oh, that's great, Kamish. Yeah, I'm feeling real good. What can I do for you, Joni? Oh, Bob from the election committee called to say that he was trying to get together a couple of local celebs for the fundraiser party. Good. And uh, Mr. Morgan from the IA wants you to call him ASAP about your background check. Seems they have a question about the night Oliver Jones was busted. Thank you. So I decided to take the plunge. What do you mean? With Dylan. We're sort of going out on Friday night. OK, we're not in junior high. You don't sort of go out with someone on a Friday night. You either do or you don't. Well, I mean, he's just going to teach me some of his dance moves. Don't tell me he pulled that tango crap on you. Come on, Kaylee, got to make him work harder than that. Well, I think we kind of wore the whole hard to get thing into the ground. Thank you. I mean, you saw the boy at Liquid. Don't tell me he hasn't got skills. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry. Jody, you're sweating like we're in the middle of the desert. Uh, I'm fine. It's, uh, I only keep on playing her music full blast and, um, we have this, these neighbors with like a really loud dog. I gotta go, okay? I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. See, you and Hadley did some major stepping out last night. <laughs> so what can I say? I mean, the woman says I've been neglecting her lately, which is totally untrue, by the way. Yeah, I can believe that. Uh, we'll do it again some other time. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, next time we'll tear it up, I promise. Listen, um, I've been meaning to ask you, have you seen Macy around here lately? Uh, he stops in every other day or so. But, you know, actually, he's been keeping a pretty low profile. What, you thinking something? Just that it's odd, you know? I mean, considering this big contest my dad set up and everything. Yeah, you know, Macy left the entire planning of the face of the Millennia promotion to me and your mom. And hasn't the agency lost, like, a major contract or something? Ecstasy perfume. Personally, I think Macy could have pushed our model a lot harder than he did, but it was like he wasn't even there at the client meetings. Which begs the question, what is Macy into these days? You have a bad feeling? Well, what do you think? I mean, something just isn't right. Think about it. There's a big board meeting at the end of the week. How is Macy going to explain losing away the ecstasy perfume account? He's gonna have to do some pretty fast talking. That's for sure. Listen, Lucas, I hate to bring this up, but uh, it's been gnawing at me a lot. Sure, man, what is it? It's about Bobby. Something that you said about him needing to vent about something. Well, listen, I'm not letting it go if that's what you're getting at. I'm not saying that. It's just that Bobby was a really quiet guy. For him to even bring something like this up, it must have been really important. Just wish I could put my finger on it. Well, I've been following up on some leads of my own. You know where they're all pointing? Macy.
Roberto, I don't want to make any trouble for Elena. On the contrary, Jimmy Ray, I consider it a favor to catch me up on my daughter's life from time to time. Five years to be away from one's child. Yeah, sure, I can only imagine how you felt. No one can imagine how it feels to be away from the one they love. Right, I didn't mean to suggest that. Tell me more about your latest friends. I understand you have some, some problems. Yeah, well, Elena, she's so refined, and the kids she's hanging out with, well, they're far beneath her. If I can speak freely, please, Roberto. Of course. They're trash, Roberto. Elena's so sweet and so beautiful, and I'm scared they're gonna take advantage of her. Are you talking about it, boy, Jimmy Ray? Roberto, maybe you should ask Elena. I'm asking you. Did someone take advantage of my daughter? Hey, Elena. Hey, Dylan. What's up? I was hoping I could talk to you for a second. I'm sure. I'm worried about Lindy. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, I hope this doesn't make you feel uncomfortable, but you're the only person I can talk to about her. Honestly, I'm kind of worried about her, too. Is she all right? Dylan, I don't know if I should be talking. <laughs> I'm not trying to reveal any trade secrets here. <laughs> all right, I'm going to be honest. Ever since you didn't rat me out for putting all that sand in Matt Finch's locker, I always felt that you and I were here, you know? That I can trust you. She's not the same, Elena. And we both know she's not gonna be Miss Congeniality. But lately, she's been so malicious, you know? Almost cruel. I just think she's been having a rough time this year, Dylan. Just look at the facts. In a few weeks, the people she could talk to, and I mean really talk to, were cut in half when you dumped her. And we both know her parents aren't around enough to give a damn. And then there was one. Basically. But ever since. Ever since what? I just don't understand how she didn't see us talking. What, is she blind? What are you talking about? Lindy. Dylan, she's my best friend, but sometimes I feel like she doesn't know a thing about me. Does this have something to do with Alex? I'm sorry, I gotta go. Come on, Elena. You can always talk to me. I know. And I appreciate your help and support, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> you know the routine, Joni. Mm -hmm. Get those letters out to our on-the-fence people. And remember to invite them to the big fundraiser on Friday, will you? Yes, sir, Kamish. I'll bring the letters to you to sign as soon as I get them typed. Oh, what about that call from Internal Affairs? Right, right. Poor Oliver Jones. Can't they let him rest in peace? Oh, I'll call Morgan. Guy's got a real bug up his you know what. Hey. Thanks, kiddo. You're the best. Come in. Well, Jesus H. Christ. Did somebody die or am I dreaming? It's nothing so dramatic. I was in the neighborhood needed to get a couple of parking tickets fixed. I'm just, I'm just riding your dad. Look, I didn't like how we left things the other day. So, I thought maybe you might wanna hook up for some dinner at that fish place you like by the river. Oh, sure. Well, I'd like that. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to spend some time together. Awesome. Big fundraiser party Friday night. You're gonna be there. Well, I didn't get an invite, so. So our mine only needs just two feet to get in the door. <laughs> well, 
well, I'll point mine in the direction of Jasmine. It's his favorite place of mine to hang out anyway, and I'll be there. Well, I'd like that, Will. A lot. Okay, so dinner, 7.30. Hey, order us up a dozen stone crab claws if you get there ahead of me, will you? <laughs> I'll do that. I'm really looking forward to it, Dad. Yeah, me too, son. Boss, Jamie O'Keefe wants to see him. Pronto. Hey, beautiful. Hey, look what the cat dragged in. Oh, Will, you remember those plates you asked me to run a while back? Mm -hmm. Bella? My plates were turned in. Looks like your fair lady flew the coop. And that, dear Joni, is the sad epilogue to my illustrious history with women. Unless you're suddenly available. In your dreams. Damn. Hello, this is Charlotta. Oh, yes, yes, I did. Uh-huh. And I want you to know that I positively do your entire fragrance line. Hmm. But but ecstasy's I beg your pardon? The client said what? <laughs> Are you quite sure you have the right person? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, I guess there's no accounting for bad taste, is there? So I'm going to be a till idiot in my So, Vincent. I only want super classy women for the Millennium Fashion Preview. Okay. No problem. Uh, I'll book Samantha and Cynthia. Maybe Nikki. Oh, wait. <laughs> Forget her. She's back in rehab again. Hi, Ian. Hey, Chrissy. We were just talking about you. You were? Yeah, I was just telling Vincent here what great potential I thought you had. Right, Vincent? <laughs> Whatever you say, Mr. Ian. I'll be in with the Duchess. So, Chrissy, what have you been up to? Uh, nothing much. You know. Slight downward look says something different. What's wrong? Okay. I tried to meet Tony Avalanche today. I couldn't even get through with this stupid secretary. I've been trying to get through with Charlotte for days, and she's who knows where. Please, how exactly am I supposed to become a model if nobody wants to help me? Yeah, it is a problem. But I think I have a solution. What? By first setting up with a photographer, and then getting your portfolio started. You can do that? I'm very impressed with the help you've offered me with Elena, Jimmy Ray. Well, oh, come on, Roberta. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure to make sure she's safe and sound. Like anything you want, just ask. Well, there is one more thing. Please. Well, I will have a talk to Elena about her choice of friends, but I'm more concerned about her vulnerability to certain young men. I could keep an eye out. Well, I wouldn't want her to think that I was spying on her. No, I don't see it that way. You're just a concerned father, that's all. Well, that's exactly the way I see it. Anyway. Would you keep me informed? Absolutely. I'll take care of it. Good. 
And I hope I can trust on your discretion in this matter. Of course. Remember, anything you need, I'm here for you. I'll remember that, Jimmy. Hello. Commissioner. Hi. I've been expecting your call. Well, there you are, Mr. Erickson. Hi, Lindy. You know, I always... No, it's okay. I forgive you. I'm sorry, what do you mean? For forgetting to show up yesterday? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I was thinking, maybe you want to do it again today? Uh, after school? I'm sorry, I can't. Uh, I have to catch up some lab assignments that I missed during the first few weeks. And... Have you been to the beach yet? No. Great. So this weekend, you and I will go and we'll have fun. Lindy, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't this weekend. Uh, will, you know, Dylan's cousin, he he's said it would help me get settled. So. Okay, well, Elena and I were planning on having dinner at this hot new place on Lincoln Road. I don't know. Maybe you want to join us? Yeah, sure. I, I mean, I'll try to make time. Great. So maybe we'll talk later. Okay. I'm not gonna believe this. But I don't think Alex is into me. I think he's into you. What makes you say that? Because I just asked him to do like 30 things, and the only one he's interested in is having dinner with us. Not me. You and me. Well, maybe he's just shy. Yeah, right. Look, I need you to help me. No, Lindy, I am not getting in the middle of this. So did he say her name was Elena Randon? Yeah, why? Is she in a relation with Roberta Randon? Why does that name sound familiar? He tried to take over Devon Cosmetics five years ago.